go. Uh, this is my new DC motor um, and control box. I've got the control box on a swing arm. I can move it once I get the wiring a bit longer over the tail stock as well. Um, I got fans on the motor. Um, this one will be for the brake. I'm still waiting on the braking resistor for that. Um, so emergency cutoff isolates everything just in case. Um, I'll still have a brake with that one. Um, I've got a switch on the pot so I can switch either there, um, reverse, speed both ways. Um, at the moment I've also I need to clean the contacts on that switch, they're a bit... there we go. I've also seemed to have... this was a pot I had that was switched, I think it's um, a logarithmic pot. Um, it takes a lot of movement to bring the revs up. And then obviously as I get towards the top end of the pot, it starts to change. So that's geared 3 to 1, so the motor's doing, what's that, 3600 revs, um, and that's actually set um, the absolute minimum that the board will do. Um, the IR compensation is quite strange, you put a load on it, it drops, and then it lifts back up, and then when you take the load off, it sort of over revs and then settles back down, searches around for its speed again. It's, um, overall, I'm, I'm happy. It's certainly got more power than the than the um, half horsepower AC motor it had. That's for sure. Um, yeah.